This morning, I read Psalm 118 for my devotions. I've read it many times before, but this morning I was struck that both the opening and the closing words of the psalm are one and the same. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endureth forever. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever. The words obviously bear repeating. Can we ever hear them enough? And then the words and the tune to the song came to me that, you know, we've sung it here before at church, came into my head. Lord, you are good and your mercies endureth forever. That's how the King James says it. I was reading a devotional by Frederick Beatner when this one came up. He spoke about the very preciousness of each moment of the day of our lives. And as I reflected for a moment on all of the current events and all of the trauma over the past five or six months, all of the fears and the anxiety that are surrounding the reopening of schools to, that we're facing right now, all of the uncertainty that each and every one of us continue to face every single day, and if I could go on and on and on, and I did with my prayer, for my list for God this morning was indeed long. Not just all of these global concerns, but the concerns about and the concerns for individuals in our church. Some days are just like that. And I know that many of you also feel that very same heaviness of your own heart and your own life. And that, for some, that heaviness that you are carrying seems and feels tremendous. The quote that I read from Beekner this morning, the verses, the promises of the psalmist and the promises of God, this is what he wrote. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it or weep in it or be sad in it for that matter. The point is, he said, the point is to see that what it is because it will be gone before you know it. If you waste it, if you waste the day, it is your life that you're wasting. If you look the other way, it may be the moment that you've been waiting for, that you've been waiting all along, and you're about to miss it. All other days, he said, have either disappeared into the darkness or the oblivion, or they are not yet emerged from them. Today, today is the only day that there is. Now, when we're honest with each other, life is not always, or even seldom, the way that we expected or anticipated it. I'm sure that we can all say with certainty that it has not been the way I thought it was going to be since COVID hit. But the truth is that even before COVID, life didn't always go the way we expected or anticipated, right? As much as we try, and as humans, oh, how desperately we do try to be in control. The truth is we're not. Lord, you are good and your mercies endureth forever. I definitely needed to hear these words this morning and to hear these words again and again and again and again. I hope that you will be hearing and singing those words today as well. I also hope that you will spend time today or tomorrow or the next day reading again Psalm 118. And as you read the psalm, which are the words that jump out to you? Where do you see yourself in the scripture and in these words? Which verses do you identify with today? How is God speaking with you through the, these words of the psalm? Read the words Read them again, and read them a third or a fourth time. Spend time with God today, praising, thanking, and weeping. Nothing that you are feeling or thinking will ever surprise God. Pray with me. 
Lord God, I thank you for your unfailing love. The love that you shower on me and upon each and every one of us daily. Not sparingly, but you pour it out for us and upon us. And even when the circumstances of our life aren't the way we want them, that they don't make sense, they don't fit together, even when they are overwhelming, God, bring my eyes back to you and let me again hear your promise and give you praise. Lord, you are good and your love, your mercy endureth today, tomorrow and forever. Thank you, God, for the love that you are pouring out on me today, on each and every one of us today. Amen. And blessings to you this day.